Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mama Hamizan with Mama Saleh And I'm from group 4 um, And today I want to explain uh, Present my uh, Floating JT uh, uh, That's I uh, look to the uh, design first The design and the 3D view is uh, like this uh, and this is a, a family area uh, and they are, they, it has a bridge and uh, this is a fishing area uh, the family area we make the roof at the uh, center uh, let's go to the plan view uh, this is the dimension uh, the dimension for overall length is 33 meter uh, and the uh, in inner inner circle is uh, 15.4 meter uh, the square part is for the top boat for the boat area and then uh, this is uh, uh, like the uh, uh, there has two fishing area it's at, at the side of the uh, at the side of the circle uh, and the side length is the 19.8 meter uh, then we move to the side view uh, yeah, This is the side view The side view uh, uh, same for, uh, It's same as the plan view It's uh, also 33 meter And the, the height of the We move to the side view The side view is uh, The length is 33 meter And the height is is uh, for for the pontoon height is 0 0.5 and the column of pontoon is 0 0.3 the deck thickness is 0 0.003 and the column of the roof is 2 meter okay let's move to the uh, specification uh, for the uh, floating jetty that we design we make uh, maximum capacity uh, all is uh, is 78 people uh, and for the family area and fam for, uh, for the family area the capacity is uh, only 28 people and for the bridge is 4 people uh, the two fishing areas uh, 36 people and for the total area we calculate it uh, 379 .8 7 meter square mm. okay. uh, for the material that we uh, that we use uh, for the platform the material is made of IPE Brazilian wood and the density is uh, 945 kilogram per meter cubic uh, for the column all the column uh, for the column uh, for the column, uh, where which is at the roof and the pontoon, uh, we the material is used. Uh, the material is Douglas fir, which is the density is kil uh, five three o kilogram per meter cube. For the roofing, the material is alpha shingles. Uh, the density is 14.89 kg per meter cubic and lastly for the pontoon uh, uh, it is made of uh, expanded polystyrene in the inside uh, and the outside layer is made of polyethylene thermoplastic polymer and the density is 20.5 uh, after we get the, the density and the material we calculate the weight the weight is here the, for the overall weight overall weight yeah. the overall weight for the structure is uh, 6607.10 kilogram and after we add some uh, people some sitting area ice box toilets miscellaneous uh, we total up the weight uh, and the weight will become uh, one eight zero zero seven point one. Okay. Mm. 
after we got the overall weight uh, we can calculate the drop which is the t uh, the t uh, the t is uh, the to calculate t weight is equal to displacement and the the overall weight is 18 tons we we do the calculation and get the t is 0 0.2 meter this is a 0 0.2 meter and then uh, from the deck uh, from the platform until the water level is 0 0.6 meter uh, the height and uh, this is a, a roof structure uh, we made a hexagon uh, shape like and it consists of type A and type B the A is for the uh, horizontal and the B is for the roofing parts and this is for pontoons uh, dimension dimension pontoons uh, 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 1.2 meter for the length and the height is 0 0.5 the bridge is 0 0.6 Yes, uh, this is a column with column height for the pontoon is 0 0.3 and the column for the roof is 2 meter. Uh, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. My name is Mahmoud Yasser Arabi. I'm from group 4. Um, following to my good friend Hamizan, I'm going to be continuing on the part of the free body diagram and the other diagram such as the load diagram, the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. Starting with the free body diagram, we took it from the section which is the side view all right so we do have the um distributed load of the weight itself the weight of the pontoon it's uh, the weight of the deck itself and then we do have two point loads at the roofs uh, the columns of the roofs each column has a point load as for the pontoons each pontoon um each pontoon is equal to a point load in the opposite direction of the uh, distributed load. Uh, right. As for the load diagram, we have calculated it from another cross section, which is not from the side view. We have actually calculated it from here, starting here and into here. Uh, we did basically a random scenario, which we have placed a set of people um, at a random order for example there was one person here um, three people in here two people on this bridge and there was another person in here who was fishing so regarding well, took, taking into consideration of the weights of these people standing um, the weight of the deck itself and the weights of the uh, railing on the bridges and on the sides from here to here so it's basically a rectangular shape like this and we have calculated the uh, weight and buoyancy of this of this part and we have come up with the load diagram which looks like this basically load is equal to b buoyancy minus w weight um, going after that we come into the shear force diagram which is just the area under the load graph so taking for example this orange bar we calculate the area and we come up with this blue bar which is the shear force we would do the same for each part and we would come up with the complete shear force diagram and these are the points of the shear force diagram each point and its corresponding uh, shear force zero starting from here and ending by this part in here um, as for the bending moment diagram uh, it's also equal to the area under the shear force diagram calculate the area under this triangle you get this part we could notice that we have an open end we have an open start and an open end they are not touching zero this is because we have some extra loads in here and here that we're not able to reach um, due to these forces i mean we are not able to reach by the bending moment diagram to zero and this table shows the relation between the point and the bending moment diagram respectively each point and its corresponding bending moment diagram 
after that we have calculated um, the uh, the properties for the platform roof column and railing we have got the sigma area sigma first moment sigma second moment and sigma io we have actually done this so that we could get the what's it called the safety factor how we did that is using the using the maximum bending moment and dividing it by the z top that we got from here z top or z bottom whichever is less in this case the z top was less than the z bottom but this was only for half the structure multiplying 90.97 by 2 we get 181.95 and this is our section modulus our full section modulus okay then after getting the sigma work uh, which is equal to the bending moment dividing it by the sigma uh, by the sorry by the sec the full section modulus so sigma work equals the maximum bending moment from the graph which is at 0 0.7 142 dividing it by this section modulus by this full section modulus and of course we have to um, change the units uh, we get sigma work equals 7.65 uh, our yield stress yield stress uh, actually we found it on Google for the material used was 55.8 megapascals and the shear force is equal to the yield stress over the sigma work and from that we do get 7.29 concluding that our structure is actually safe I think that would be all. This proves that our structure is actually safe and everything is going good on our structure. And I think that's all. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the price. We have actually uh, approximated this price, 7.2 million ringgits, uh, due to three main factors. Uh, one of them, the, the material we use, which is the IPE Brazilian wood, which has to be expensive imported specifically from Brazil and Brazil is obviously very far from Malaysia so the shipping costs are basically very very high on this type of wood which is one of the top qualities uh, something else is that actually the size of our platform is really big we have the size of the outer circle or semicircle is 33 meters and the diameter of the inner circle is 15.4 meters. Um, this also would be a factor um, on why it's actually carrying a hefty price such as this. Um, I think that would be all. Thank you very much. And